Hi guys, hi Tessa here from Chocolate and Cares. How have you been? It's been a while and uh, lately all I've been doing is shopping and hauling and shopping. So I've got a few videos lined up based on that. I have a what's in my bag. I've got a beauty haul, hair care haul and like I don't think a fashion haul would be necessary. But currently I have a Lush haul. So Lush has opened the biggest Lush ever in the entire world. On Oxford Street um, last weekend I went out to London um, to meet a few friends and just hang out and we went to the Lush at um, the Lush at Regent Street and they told me um, that they, I bet they were telling everybody that the closing and we're going to open the biggest Lush ever it's spread over three floors um, in Oxford Street so I was like okay fine then I'll pop in after work on Friday. So after work on Friday, I made my way to Oxford Street and there's literally over three floors. They have a top floor which is full of like her, uh, they have new items like bath oils and things like that and obviously the relaxed session where you get all the bath bombs and all and the ground floor is like hair care and skincare and all the great lush stuff and the basement is also skincare. They have a new um, candle out which is literally in a bamboo and um, I'll insert a picture here if you if you'd like to see it and um, they were doing a tour of the Lush um, how do I say they were doing a tour of the Lush spa is the biggest Lush spa it has four treatment rooms and it was really really nice I'm looking forward to booking myself in um, over the summer months or over the autumn months but basically um, the first weekend I went the weekend before I bought a couple of things um, and then when I went there on on Friday, I bought more. So I have bought this whole bag full of Lush products. So let's just get stuck into it and I'll just pull them out. So I've got this one. This is the Coal Face. Um, I believe it is a facial cleanser. And it is literally, I believe, made of coal. Um, I've got slightly oily skin. And my skin is not that bad. But um, I just like to know that I'm doing the others to make sure my skincare is on point and my skin is always flawless because I'm not great with applying makeup. Like I'm not good with the beat down. I'm just Anita Grant and some Kevin Aquan. Um, so I'm really into making sure my skin is on point because I don't know how to cover everything up. So this is the Curl Face. It's literally a block and I believe you just put it all over your face and just wipe it off. Um, that I do not remember how much it cost because they sort of weigh it according to how much you've cut out. Um, this is hair balism. This is also another skincare. Um, it is sort of like a green um, ground herbs and all that. You know, it's made of um, nettles, andro rosemary to balance the skin without and with almond and rice bran to gently exfoliate. So this is the Herbalism um, Face Cleanser and this is also good I believe for pro oily skin like mine. So I wanted to pump the husband a bit so I bought the Big Blue which obviously we've used and I bought the Stepping Stone which is used to scrub the feet because we haven't seen our toes since last summer so I thought this is actually shaped like a foot and this I believe you break in half and melt in water and just rub on the feet as well oh, all the things just smells incredible like you put it in a room and the room just smells incredible um, what else have we got we have the Tasty Toasty and I really love this um, when I saw it because it was quite cute um, this is a heart and you can literally see rose petals and other herbs stuck in there and it's a really cute bath bomb like that so I'm really looking forward to using that soon maybe next weekend what else have we got so um, I was allowing one of the um, shop people shop tenants to you know do you know how they like to um, show you how things work and they put it on your skin and rub it on and you know just give you a test of it and she was asking me what I did for a living and I told her and she actually gave me this for free it's the cup of coffee exfoliating mask which contains coffee 
kaolin and carob syrup so basically she said it was good for me if i want to exfoliate so she basically just said i really love your story um i really love what you do which i'm not going to say it on youtube and so when you take to the till tell her so and so did you this act of kindness so it was really really cool and i got this for free so i'm really really chuffed um so it looks ooh, it's very very creamy it's like a nice gooey ground coffee consistency let me see if you can see that really really thick so that is the other item i got from lush and um, i i didn't know if i would have purchased it but i'm really chuffed that they actually give it to me for free so what else have we got here so i'm into a bit of yoga right now if you i do do yoga i think i'm past beginner stage but i'm not intermediate but you know, all the Janelle Monae's and that's going on with any single. They had this bar called a yoga, the yoga bomb. Literally, it's called yoga bomb. And it smells incredible. It's If you love for calm and contemplation, drop this layered balm into the bath. Oh, everything just smells incredible. I can't put my finger on what smells like what because it's all in the bag. And what is this? So they have these new things called the bath oils. They're literally like little cute balls of oils with glitter and herbs and stuff. Oh my god, they just they're gonna take all my money. So this is quite cute. Ooh, this is a bath oil. Like how incredible is that? What is it called? The fruit furs of Furzy bath oil is really really cute it's like it has this little flower on top of it it looks like a falafel interestingly i think it looks like a falafel but it's just so cute and details that go into these things because i can picture people making it with their hands like making it into small balls this is incredible so that is a bath oil and i got a couple more into the bag now. i got a couple more there is this one. Oh you've been mangoed which i thought would be nice like a nice summer spring bath oil, bath oil especially like i like the smell of mangoes even though i don't eat much of it and this is like a green and yellow like if you peel the mango that's what it would look like i really like the detail into that that is you've been mangoed bath oil and what's it made of it is uh avocado and mango batters oh that'll be so luxurious so that is the other item I got from Lush. And the last item, I actually the last but one, this is the sun bath oil. Honey, are you ready? This. Do you see that? It looks like, ooh, what's that thing in Harry Potter? The thing that you have to catch? Uh, is it the golden... It's not snitched. It's not snitched, definitely. But this is the bath oil. Can you picture putting this in the bathtub and it's all going like golden? So this is the sun bath oil, and um, yeah, it's really it's made of um, Brazilian orange oil, Sicilian mandarin oils, and tangerine oils. Oh, it smells amazing. So those are the things I got from Lush, and um, they, as I said, they opened a new Lush store on Oxford Street all these things i purchased oh i have one more thing um i'm into things that smell nice but i can't seem to put your things on me for a long period of time so they gave me an r&b um sample to try my hair but you have to be um considerate of your partner especially if they are not into really strong smells and i also when i put on things that smell really really powerful um i can't sleep either so I may have to just apply this during the day so they give me a little sample of that and as I was saying the new Lush door is open on Oxford Street um, three floors of awesomeness I bet, um, I bet Oxford Street will smell incredible for the rest of the time that Lush is there pop in there try not to get swept away um, as I did because I said I wasn't going to buy anything but alas here we are with the bag full of products so thanks for watching and I will catch you later and have a great week. Bye.